Cusick Park in Ennis, where Clare took on Leash. And watching this one, Porrick Lodge. A fortnight after their loss to Cork, Clare took the field in Cusack Park yesterday, determined to reignite their championship campaign. This was Leash's fourth match of the championship, and having forced Galway to battle hard for victory last day out, there was a quiet optimism evident. Clare played their league hurling two divisions higher than their opponents, but the early exchanges were competitive, John Brophy tying up the game at a point each. It wasn't long though before Clare got back in front again, John Conlon on target here, and the Banner County went on to lead by four points to two. Leash were finding it hard to reproduce their heroic display against Galway. Zane Keenan's third point made it clear six points, Leash four points after eight minutes. Leash goalkeeper Owen Riley is an accomplished puck fodder participant. Most of his puckouts were landing in the full forward line. The problem for Leash was they were winning very few of them. Dara Conan opening his account here. Peter Duggan replaced Nicky O'Connell in a late change to the Clare team and he put his hand up for future involvement by scoring four points as his team established control in most areas. Leash were struggling to cope with the pace and surging runs of a fired up Clare outfit. Conor McGrath's nicely taken point meant that Clare led by 15 points to five after almost half an hour. Already, Leash sensed it was an uphill task in the humid conditions. Willie Highland knew a goal was needed, but the clock Balakolaman had to be content with a point. Under-21 player Stephen Pickimar worked hard for the visiting team, scoring three points in the first half, but a dominant Clare led the break by 17 points to eight. Disappointingly for the large attendance, the second half was a one-sided affair. Porrick Collins ensuring that all six Clare forwards were now on the score sheet. Even though the game was slipping from them, Leash soldiered on. Joe Fitzpatrick's line cut, setting up Willie Highland for an excellent point. At this stage, it was 27 points to 13. One of the most impressive aspects of the Clare performance was their spread of scoring options. A total of 15 players scored yesterday. Captain Patrick Donlan, the scorer here. Colin Ryan was accurate from placed balls all afternoon, finishing with 11 points. And to complete a comprehensive victory, substitute Shane O'Donnell sent the ball to the net with time almost up. When the full-time whistle blew, Clare had won by 132 to 15 points. A disappointing end to an otherwise very positive year for Leash. We know we're in for a massive battle again next next weekend. Um, we're playing a Wexford team, probably that of... Um, they drew with Dublin, so we're in for another battle, you know, but listen, we're still there. Certainly a lesson, it's a dear lesson for us, uh, but I think what's important is that the team will learn from this and, and that it will prepare uh, just to keep improving year on year. This wasn't going to happen, uh, you know, over one year, this is going to take a number of years for this to happen. Um, I think we're boosted as well by our minors being in the Leinster final tomorrow, so we've a lot, lot of positive things to look forward to. Um, we'll get over today, we'll regroup and, and uh, we'll get ourselves properly prepared again to go. Yeah, disappointing for Leash, obviously, but but.